You're watching a Start to Finish podcasting quick tip. Brought to you by the Start to Finish podcasting TV network with Andre Lewis. Welcome to the Start to Finish podcasting TV network. I am Andre Lewis. And today I am recording this video with the Zoom H6. Uh, so today is all about the Zoom H6. Um, I can't really grab it because it's um, over in a tight spot. But um, for many of you, you know what the Zoom H6, um, it's a handheld recorder. Um, people use it for mobile recording, but you can also use it as a uh, an interface. Um, so, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using the Zoom H6 as an audio interface. And um, you can configure that uh, to become an audio, audio interface. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, but I just want to do a quick video and just let you know that um, I was recording this video using the Zoom H6. Um, and I'm not just using it by itself. I do have some other stuff connected to it. Uh, I have this microphone, the Shure SM58. I'm surprised I didn't say the Shure SM7B. I've been saying that a lot lately in these videos by mistake. Um, but this is the Shure SM58 going into a cloud lifter, which is going into my DBX286, which is then instead of going into my focus, right? It's now going into my Zoom H6. And then that is going into my recording um, software, which is uh, Logic Pro 10. Love Logic Pro 10. So that's what I'm working with, with this uh, Zoom A6. Um, you know, you're still getting the same sound, I guess, because um, it is going through the DBX286. Uh, but the difference is, instead of going to the focus right, going into in, into the focus right, it's going into my uh, Zoom A6. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't sound too much different from uh, the going into the focus right. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, do a video and see, uh, if the sound quality or was it a big difference in sound quality or not? Um, let me know what you think. All right. Just let me know what you think. So what we're going to do right now, um, I'm just going to show you how, how to do it. All right. So I did do a um, recording of how I did it. This is not, uh, this particular piece that you're going to see is not, um, a live recording me doing it on the fly. I did record it. So, um, it wouldn't interfere with the recording or anything like that. Or me having to move the Zoom H6 and move the camera and then moving it back. It was just too much work. So I did a recording. So let's go to um, the recording of how to uh, configure the Zoom A6 to be an audio interface for your um, your podcast or your videos. And this is for Mac, okay? Uh, but you do the same steps with um, with Windows, but you might have to download a driver before you do that, all right? So let's go to um, how to configure this. All right, so let's do it. Okay, so this is your USB connection with your Zoom H6. You're gonna put one end of this connection, which is this one. You're gonna put that right in here and make sure you have a nice snug fit in there. Make sure it's in there all the way. It should kind of snap in a little bit to be uh, on the safe side. Uh, once you connect that, you're going to connect the USB to the computer. Then you're going to get your XLR. You're going to connect your XLR to channel one or whatever channel you want. I have mine on one. I don't know why four is lit, but um, I have it connected to channel one. And make sure you press one um, so you can get your recording. Once you do that, it's time to go to configure it. So you're going to go open it up. Hit the menu button, It'll, this will show up. You're gonna scroll down to USB. So let's scroll down to USB. All right, you're gonna press in, then you're gonna choose audio interface. Then you're gonna choose multi-track. All right, oh, multi-track. Then you're gonna choose PC Mac. Um, using battery power because I'm using battery power. Mine is not plugged up. So that's how you are going uh, to configure it. Okay, so you saw how uh, to configure the Zoom H6 to make it an audio interface. Um, if you have a Zoom H6 and you wanna try it, why not? I mean, go ahead, what's, what's the harm in trying? 
Um, so check it out. I mean, just try it. If you have a Zoom A6, I think it, it does. It does well. I think it does pretty well um, to serve as an audio interface if you don't have one already. Um, and it's kind of like a Zoom A6 serves both both purposes. Like it serves as an audio interface as well as um, uh, like a mobile uh, recording device. So you can go anywhere with it or you can uh, do use it at home. And the good thing is it has uh, four audio inputs, but you can get an additional two if you use, uh, let me, let me get that. You can use an additional two uh, inputs if you purchase the, um, the little, uh, it's like an add on. Um, I don't have it, um, but it's like this, something like this, uh, but it has two XLR uh, connections on each side. So you can connect, uh, do six connections, the four that you have on the zoom H six, and then the, uh, the two add ons. Um, so it works. So if you either have four connections or six, um, let's see, actually you can do five. I mean, uh, you can do all four of your connections and then you can use one of these. I have two, um, these here. They both have their own volume also. So you I mean you can adjust the volume on these too. All right. So um I tend to use this one. It, it it's better for me. This one here, um, you know, I don't know where, you know, sometimes it's like I'm on this side, I'm on that side. This is designed for two people, but I don't think it works as good as this. But um it's your choice, you know, it's up to you. Uh, it, it all depends on the person. But uh these go for go to the um Zoom H6 and real quick. If you connect this to the Zoom H6, you can use a lavalier microphone. Just plug it right in here. Um, put your lavalier on, hit the record button. There's some configuring uh, you do have to do with that um, for some people, depending on what, what your setup is. Um, but for me, I just plugged it in, hit the record button, and I was recording on the Zoom H6 with the lavalier microphone all from this connection. So. Um, it does well. I mean, if you, uh, have a zoom a six and put this back here, if you have a zoom a six, why not? And try, why not go ahead and try it? Um, if you do, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if it's changed your recording style of your, your, uh, the way you record. Um, I'd love to hear some stories about your zoom a six. I've had mine for a while. I don't use it that often. Um, but I'm starting to use more of my, uh, equipment. Um, you know, I was chasing equipment at one time, but, uh, you know, now starting to actually use some of this stuff uh, more often. So try it out. Let me know what you think. All right. This is Andre Lewis. Thank you for tuning in. Start to finish podcasting podcast TV network is what you're watching. And you can email me at start to finish podcasting at gmail.com. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you. I'm out.